Hello, this is Watson. In this video, we will show you how to make a template to quickly start working with different materials. Also, we will explain the correlation between the speed of the laser beam and the power of the laser tube when engraving on a CO2 laser machine. Let us get started. To begin with, if this is one of the first starts of the machine, you need to determine the correct focal length. Place a small sheet of plywood or other material you are going to work with at an angle to the surface of the table as in our example. Make sure that the nozzle does not touch it as it moves from the lowest to the highest part of the workpiece. On the controller, select a low travel speed and medium emission power not to burn through the workpiece. Press the pulse button and move the laser head along our workpiece, from the bottom to the top of the workpiece. It should leave an irregularly wide mark. Mark the center of the thinnest part with a pencil and place the laser head over the mark. The distance from the workpiece to the tip of the nozzle is the correct focal length. Let us move on to making a table for engraving. We make the layout in Corel Draw. Our engineers recommend that a similar parameter table is made and amended each time a laser tube is changed or a new piece of equipment is commissioned for the first time. The template can be modified to suit your requirements. For this video, we will use the Watson 6090LT machine with a 100 watt Riki laser tube. Check our website for a complete list of our machines and accessories. Our specialists will help you with the best choice for your tasks. Then export the layout to RDWorks. Mark the text and set the medium engraving parameters in order to mark out and then cut our workpiece. The layout can be found at the link in the description below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and press like. Once we have the workpiece ready, without moving it, fix it to the honeycomb table with sticky tape. Back to the settings in the control software, starting with the top row of our squares. Select the figures in turn and assign them a color. Then, for each color, set its parameters, disabling the cutting and engraving colors of the text and the contour of the workpiece. Set the speed for the entire row to 100 millimeters per second and change the power according to the written parameters, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. When moving to the next row, we only need to assign a color to the squares. Keeping the same power setting, we change the speed parameters according to the squares row. Adjust the focal length. Set the minimum blowing and start the engraving. Make sure you have done everything correctly and then press frame. The machine will show you the engraving area. It should run along the borders of our top row. Press start and watch the engraving process. You can notice some fouling when engraving at a power of 35% and a speed of 100 millimeters per second. Don't worry, this can be cleaned easily with sanding paper. Perhaps for your projects, this kind of deep and dark engraving will be applicable. Wait until the machine has finished engraving. Do not forget the safety precautions. Watch the work process and make sure there is no ignition and the smoke is properly extracted from the working zone.
Go back to the program and move on to the next row of the figures, setting them to the colors of the previous squares and changing only the processing speed, 150 millimeters per second. Change the color of the entire upper row of squares to a color that will not be processed, which in this example is black or green. Press Download, check the processing edges, and start the engraving process. Do the same with subsequent rows, changing only the processing speed. The main part of our table is done. The template is already suitable for a quick start, especially when working with the most common materials. However, that is not all. The last thing to do is to set interval millimeters. To do this, go back to the control program. There are four rectangles on the right side. Assign them different colors and go to settings. Select the desired speed and power from the already engraved table and assign these values to all the rectangles. Then change interval one by one according to our layout. Start the machine and watch the process. Such templates are handy for keeping track of the dynamics of laser tube power reduction. Thus, similar tables can be engraved on the different materials you use frequently and you can always find the best or required mode for the job. Follow our recommendations and you will always get good results. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and we will be happy to answer them. Subscribe to our channel and do not forget to give our engineers likes. This is Watson. See you in the next video.